Hello my dear students. Good evening all of you. Today we are going to learn present simple tense. In each class we learn one tense from today onwards in each of the sessions. Let us devote to tenses. Tenses are very simple. Tenses are very important in English grammar. When we hear about grammar, we have to be comfortable. Grammar is very much helping us. We are not at a distance from grammar. Grammar is quite a part of the language. Usually people may think that grammar is difficult. It's never difficult. You are just as comfortable as you are with any other part of the language. We learn language. We learn its functions. We learn one of the best functions of language through this present simple tense. This is the first tense of the language. Simple tense is very simple. Simplicity is uh, added in its name itself. Present simple tense deals with all time truths. What do you mean by all time truth? They are the universal truths. Sun rises in the east. Since childhood we have been learning that example in the classes that sun rises in the east, sun sets in the west. Water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. All these versions, they are of simple present tense. When you want to talk about universal truths, the truth is permanent one. Sun rises in the east, sun sets in the west, water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. All these sentences, they exemplify present simple tense. Okay. We learnt about all time truths. Now coming to permanent situations and the repeated actions. We have permanent situations and repeated actions also in present simple tense. What do we mean by present permanent situations? Let us take one example. Mother takes care of children. It is a permanent situation. Okay. Now let's go for another example of repeated action. You drink milk. I take coffee. He writes project, project report. Father goes for walking. You run fast. He doesn't like coffee. Ajay goes for swimming. They prepare the project. I plan my trips. The college reopens after summer break. All these actions are permanent, repeated actions, permanent situations. So, all permanent situations are repeated actions. And some repeated actions may be permanent situations. For example, your repeated action, we go for walking. It's repeated action. It may not be a permanent situation. You may not continue in future. But for the time being, it's a repeated action for you. You prepare projects. It is the repeated action. You may not prepare the project after some days or after some months. Then it may not be a permanent situation for you. He doesn't like coffee. It is the not liking coffee. It is the repeated action for him. In case he makes it a habit to have coffee after some days, then in that case, it may not be permanent action for him. So let us review this once again. All time truths, they are said in present tense. Your permanent situations, you prepare a project, I prepare coffee, she eats sweets, he goes for walking, he swims daily, you run very fast, I cook food, she prepares sweets, he sells oranges, you enter the college, 
you move towards your classroom the lecturer enters the class you attend the class you listen to the class you take down the notes all these examples they are of present simple tense so in present simple tense there are all time truths they happen permanently universally there there won't be any change at all in universal truths they are natural truths they are universal truths they are permanent like sun rises in the east sun sets in the west water freezes at 0 degrees celsius permanent situations and repeated actions your grandmother sits in her room grandparents take rest they are all permanent situations they are repeated actions too your repeated actions your habits your regular actions you are attending the class you attend the class i attend the class i take the class students sit in the class students take down the notes students prepare the project we all plan for the tour we see a movie we watch a movie we watch the tv all these actions they are regular actions they are the actions of the habits they are repeated actions sometimes these repeated actions may be permanent situations too all actions of the permanent situations they are the repeated actions so students how do you apply this in your day to day life almost one third of the language part or one third of your actions your daily routine that is about the present simple tense only it is as simple as that so as and when you get up in the morning you think about all your actions the actions you are going to meet today what do i do i watch tv for 10 minutes only at every one hour interval i devote my time to studies i don't go out because it's lockdown time lockdown period i read each of my subjects half an hour gradually i increase my time tomorrow i study 45 minutes each of my subjects i watch tv minimum time i don't go out because it is lockdown period i go to kitchen i help my mother then you may ask me ma'am uh, if uh, when i am thinking that i help my mother uh, shouldn't i think uh, i will help my mother sure you will help my mother you will help your mother of course but at the time of you are thinking you can apply the sense of the future as uh, present tense only since you are practicing yourself in present tense forms so all these actions your routine you your regular habits you think in present tense forms you apply all situations of the day to present tense and you think about all these actions each day continue doing like that it is functional with you now it operates the tense operates within you within your mind you get enough practice this is how you have to do and coming to other part i just would like to introduce the first person singular number i plural number v second person singular number u plural number u and third person singular number he she it plural number they you are applying all these uh, numbers to the verbs in third person singular number you add as to verb in uh, present simple tense for that i'll give you a tip you read this sentence i plan it is a simple present tense she implements it is also in simple present tense you just remember these two examples throughout you will never get any doubt at all you apply this adding of s to the verb 
for third person singular number. I plan, she implements. You repeat recalling these two in your mind. You never commit any mistake. Every time you apply this rule, whenever you use verb for third person singular number, you will add S to that verb. Okay, let us try with that. Let us first start with first person. I write, I watch, I attend, I present, I submit, I try, I prepare. Let us try with some examples. I write a story. I watch the TV. I attend the meeting. I present PowerPoint in the seminar. I submit my report. I try this calculation. I prepare a project report. This is first segment. You try like that. You pronounce within yourself and practice yourself. Take the practice, get the practice. Just like that. You repeat the same verbs in another type of sentence. I don't write the story. I don't watch the TV. I don't attend the meeting. I don't present PowerPoint. I don't submit the project. I don't try this calculation, this sum. I don't prepare the project. That is negative. Negative sentence in the same tense. Now, in the same tense, we are preparing a question form. Why do you write a story? Why do you watch the TV? Why do you attend the meeting? Why do you present a report? Why do you submit the papers? Why do you try this calculation? Why do you prepare this process report? You repeat asking using the same verbs within yourself number of times. These many verbs for practice are enough for you. You don't need to try with too many verbs. And the next, there is another type of question. Do you write the story? One kind of question, why do you write the story? Another kind of question, that is WH question. Another type of question, without WH. Do you write the story? Do you watch the TV? Do you attend the meeting? Do you present the project? Do you submit your report? Do, do you try this sum? Do you prepare this uh, project work? So, we have completed, uh, we have done with four types. The first type is normal sentence. I write a story. Second one is negative sentence. I don't write the story. Third one is WH question. Why do you write the story? Fourth one, do you write the story? You keep practicing these four versions using all these numbers, using all these verbs. With I, we, with you, with they, the verb won't change in present simple. So now coming to he, she, it or any proper names. Rajesh, Ajay, Anand, they, the boys, the girls. The members of the team, they are the plural number. So, we now uh, specify this third person singular number. We add S to the verb. I plan, she implements. Planning, implement, they are sequential. One plan, plan, after planning, we implement it. So that for you also to remember this, it's very easy. I plan, she implements. I plan, she implements. I plan, she implements. You remember and repeat within yourself like that. So, when third person uh, comes, when you get the third person singular number, definitely you will add as to that. So, as you are adding as to that, the question in question form also, the verb forms will slightly change. Let us discuss that now. Let us take she. She writes the story. She watches the film. She attends the meeting. She presents the report. She submits the papers, she tries this calculation, she prepares the project report. Okay. Next, we are going to the negative. Because we are adding S, we take uh, does as the auxiliary helping verb. We for negative. She doesn't write the story. She doesn't watch the movie. She doesn't attend the meeting. She doesn't present the report. She doesn't present uh, the PowerPoint in the seminar. 
she doesn't submit the report she doesn't try this sum mathematical problem she doesn't prepare the project report next you come to the question why does she write the story why does she watch the tv why does she attend the meeting why does she present powerpoint why does she submit the report why does she try this sum why does she prepare this project report now go to another version of the question because first is normal sentence first is normal sentence second questions two types first type second type negative form okay so with this we are getting four versions this is three this is one this is two this is three this is four okay another question does she write the story does she watch the tv does she attend the meeting does she present powerpoint in the seminar does she submit the project does she try this mathematical sum does she prepare this project report this is how using these all numbers singular number singular number first person singular number plural number second person singular number and plural number it's also the same you and you and third person singular number and plural number you apply the numbers to all these verbs taking these four versions of the sentences how do you do this practice after this class you watch this video listen repeatedly until you get until you get strength of this practice you get mastery you become a master of using all these tenses with this practice this uh, simple practice goes a long way students there is no doubt in that it's a proven fact when it has proved with some people it proves with you also out of the experience i am giving you this tip do it doing it is more important grammar is always there to help us it never uh, scares feel comfortable be at ease english is as simple as that try to practice it as we are missing the practice we may not be able to be confident of the language that's the only thing that's happening nothing about present simple i just would like to tell you uh, before concluding this is the most important tense of english language i can say i can substantiate that this is all time tense if you learn present simple tense half the task is done with you in english language and achieving the further tasks they become really much easier for you now let us go to another tense that is present continuous tense present continuous tense is also much easier it is also present continuous in continuous tense in that title itself you have the meaning of the tense when some action is continuing at present right now we talk about we use this tense look students uh, let us use the same verbs i am writing i am watching i am writing a story i am watching a i am watching the tv i am attending the meeting i am presenting powerpoint i am submitting the report i am trying this sum i am preparing the project now come to the negative part of it i am not writing the story i am not watching the tv i am not attending the meeting i am not presenting the powerpoint i am not submitting the report i am not trying the sum i am not preparing the project project report now with wh question what are you writing or where are you writing this story or where are you writing this story you take any uh, version of wh why where what who whatever applies according to the situation of course why are you watching tv what are you watching in the tv 
Why are you attending this meeting? When are you attending this meeting? Why are you presenting this PowerPoint? How are you presenting this PowerPoint? Why are you submitting this report? Why are you trying this sum? How are you trying this sum? What are you preparing for this project report? Why are you preparing for this project report? You know all these words. They are in your stock. The stock of words that you have. They help you a lot. Just language is a toolbox. Vocabulary, vocabulary is nothing but the set of tools. You have to implement them. Now coming to another type of uh, question. Do you write the story? Do you watch the TV? Do you attend the meeting? Do you present PowerPoint? Do you submit the report? Do you try this sum? Do you prepare this project? All these four versions, you apply for all these verbs. Now coming to third person. Let us now take uh, one proper name. Madhuri. Madhuri is writing a story. Madhuri is watching the TV. Ajay is attending the meeting. Kavya is presenting PowerPoint. And she is submitting the report. He is trying the sum. Devi is preparing the project. So, with I, you use yam. That's uh, known to all. In your practice, you are getting it. With you and plural number they, you use R in progressive tense or continuous tense. With he, she, it, third person singular number, you use is. I am preparing, I am cooking, I am listening to the music. You are preparing, you are attending the meeting, they are attending the meeting, the boys are playing in the playground. And Lakshmi is watching the film. Lakshmi is preparing a, a project report. Naresh is playing chess. This is how you are applying. So students, in this class we learnt two tenses. The first is present simple tense. The second is present continuous tense. In simple tense, we talk about regular happenings, universal truths, permanent situations and repeated actions. And in continuous tense, the continuing actions as now, at present, just now, the actions that are happening, that are going on, you talk about those actions in continuous tense. Okay, students, you think about continuous actions or continuous tense actions also from tomorrow, tomorrow onwards. You see what your mother is doing. My mother is cooking. My mother is uh, uh, arranging the bookshelf. My sister is planning her report, planning for her report. I am revising my subjects. My father is uh, checking all his files. This is how you just record to yourself what's happening around you. This is the actual real-time practice that is what you have to do. Reading something from the book and learning the theory of the tenses and without applying them, it's of no use. How do you put it in practice and in function? You learn and use. That is what our learn and use English series they are about. So students, with this I would like to conclude. And now swing into action. Start implementing present simple tense and present continuous tense. All of you subscribe my channel. Thank you all.